emerald ash borer is becoming more predominant in the state. Wisconsin has a tremendous amount of ash trees in the state. I think the estimates are over 700 million ash trees here in Wisconsin. Consequently, we have a lot to lose. From a management perspective, we had some really good information so that we could implement some strategies right away. Emerald ash borer is an invasive insect species from Asia. The reason it's such a big deal is because the larvae of this organism feed inside the tree, out of sight, out of mind, in the cambial area, which are the conductive tissues of the tree, and it destroys those conductive tissues. Consequently, you get tree death. If you get an infestation and you haven't effectively treated your tree, the likelihood of it surviving is basically nil. Initially, we started to see this building around the Detroit metropolitan area. However, all of a sudden we found a find in Maryland. It skipped over multiple states and we found it in Maryland. Well, how did it get there? Well, we humans. If it were to just be allowed to move naturally, it would be slow. But we humans have exacerbated that. The movement through things like infested firewood, that is a serious threat. And unbeknownst to people, they didn't know that they had firewood that was infested with emerald ash borer. And then consequently, they move it about and then it gets established. So they found it in Maryland. They found it in central Ohio. They found it in Indiana. And all the way from the Northeast, all the way to Minnesota, it's in Iowa. It's also in Omaha, Nebraska. It's moving westward. For those homeowners that choose not to treat, it could be catastrophic. And I say catastrophic because what we found through research is that the landscape increases the value of a home by as much as 15%. So in my opinion, a 15% loss to your property could be considered catastrophic. If you know emerald ash borers in your area or in proximity to your property, it would be most advantageous to consider starting to treat for emerald ash borer. Let's assess that tree in terms of what is the physical size of that tree. And what I mean by that is we would walk up to the tree at about chest height, which is about four and a half feet off the ground, and we would measure the circumference of that tree. If that tree had a circumference of, let's just say, right around the neighborhood of 32 to 35 inches diameter at breast height, I would probably be inclined to have them hire a professional so that they could have a professional treatment applied to that tree. If that tree's 32 to 35 inches in circumference or less, then I would suggest to them, there's no reason why they couldn't treat that themselves. You go out to the garden center, make a purchase of the insecticide, read and follow the label directions and apply it appropriately. If you choose to treat your ash trees, you can certainly increase the probability or likelihood of survival by as much as 90 to 95%. We will not eradicate emerald ash borer. However, we can manage it to the best of our abilities. We can protect our ash trees and save them through treatments that we've determined to be effective. And if I can get the word out to enough people, that's the key to success.